Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you are new here, or welcome back if you've seen this face before. Today's video is going to be something I'm pretty sure I've done in the past, um, but if not, ew, that was weird, but if not, today's video is going to be something new boo today. Today is going to be a smoke with me and I am going to be doing unpopular opinions. I am 5 feet tall, but I am all mouth and I am all opinions, okay? <laughs> like, I really am. Um, but I am not going to overflow today's video with like 30 million opinions. I've watched like some people's unpopular opinions videos where they have just listed like 30 million unpopular opinions back to back to back where it's like an overflow and it's just like almost like just like an overflow of negativity almost like I don't want to do that I just want to play around with just some like unpopular opinions so that's what we are doing today if you want to explore that with me let's keep watching I guess let's start with this one and Y'all, I'm starting strong, so like, girls, don't come for me, don't hate me. I'm coming from like a genuine spot, and like, I'm just worried for y'all's kids. Like, this is literally where it's coming from. Like, I don't want y'all's kids to have problems. Like, listen, listen, okay? <laughs> like, don't come for me, for real. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry, but like, okay. So, <laughs> what I wrote down is stop face tuning y'all damn children. Like, please stop editing and putting filters on them 24 7. Like, I'm not gonna lie, most of, like, I don't know about you guys, but. <laughs> most of my Facebook feed is mothers okay and there's some of them that they only upload edited pictures of their kids or filtered pictures of their kids and I just kind of have an issue with that because I feel like our parents didn't do that to us so we grew up knowing what we look like you feel me and we kind of put these body issues on ourselves and now you are putting that body issue on your kid like by smoothing the kid's skin I know I know like Kim Kardashian and them have been caught like actually making their kids skinnier and that shit's wild I have no idea if any of my mom friends are photoshopping their children like that and if they are that's horrible poor things but I do know that they are doing way too much with like the constant filters and doing too much just doing way entirely too much and I genuinely feel bad for those children that are going to look back on those pictures and be like I was a perfect baby why am I not perfect now you feel me like it's just not going to connect but okay rants over that's it like I just feel like it's not going to connect are you going to tell your, your child that like all these pictures are edited you feel me like, what's going to happen here? My next unpopular opinion is I had to stop getting on Twitter, honestly, because I felt like it was just so negative. Like, ugh, there's so much competition and subtweeting and uh, just negativity on there and 
Yes, there's a lot of fun on there too though, like don't get me wrong, I love black Twitter. That's where I would hang out, I'm not even gonna lie, I loved it there. Um, but <sighs> the negativity ruined it for me, so I decided to just stop getting on my Twitter. And Instagram and Facebook like takes all the good memes from Twitter anyways. So it's like, I'm not missing anything. So this felt very low vibrational. Like, I feel like if you're spiritual or just like on a different, <laughs> on a different vibe, you, you're you able to feel how low down Twitter really actually is. And you just can't be on it. That's just how I feel because I've, uh, ran into a few other people that know exactly what the hell I'm talking about and aren't on Twitter either because of it. So, yeah. <laughs> My next unpopular opinion is I think, you know, surgery, breast implants, BBLs are, you know, do what you want to do with your own body, period. If you've always wanted to get a certain surgery done, do it. Don't do it just because you've had it shoved in your face for the past like year or so because, well I'm not even gonna say year or so, the past like five years because those things have been heavily thrown in our faces the past few years and defined as sexy and defined as desirable and women are falling for it and going to get surgery and not even liking it not even liking their bodies afterwards crying and wishing they had their old bodies and let's talk about how this body type is actually a trend and how all body types are actually a trend because it's not going to stick around y'all remember when like super skinny girls was like the trend and like fat asses could not be in the magazine fat asses could not get in anywhere girl i bet you within like 10 years that's gonna be the thing again or some other entirely new body trend is going to be the thing and there's going to be so many girls walking around with the bbls and now what <laughs> now what are we going to change our bodies again as long as y'all are doing it for yourself go for it but I've just seen so many like I've gotten the surgery and I regret it or I got the surgery but I gotta go back for round one two to actually get the body I want and I didn't know that beforehand And there's other girls. Have y'all thought about maintenance for the bodies? I'm just throwing this out there. Like, literally, have y'all thought about maintenance for your body? But that's it. Oh, this one right here. Please stop moving to Nashville. Please. Like, I get it. It's cheaper than Cali. It's cheaper than New York. It's cheaper than Florida. It's cheaper than Atlanta. It's cheaper than, like, all the other cool places. And, like, people are trying to hype Nashville up like it's cool or whatever. Nashville ain't cool. Nashville ain't lit. Stop lying. <laughs> Stop coming. <laughs> Stop it. For real. Y'all are making it, like, ridiculous out here. Ridiculous for like native Nashvillians to like legit live. Stop. Oh, bitch. Bitch. 
bitch yes okay so I forgot I even wrote this one down I must have wrote this one down when I was about to go to bed so <laughs> I wrote this down I said I peeped a lot of girls that were all about girl power have been sharing that they're glad that OnlyFans is shutting down even though that they don't know that it isn't shutting down um that, that they're just making it super vanilla but they're not doing that anymore so they're leaving it alone um but anyways sis what happened to being all about girl power sis hmm what happened where's that get your bag sis <laughs> hmm what happened to that but no, it's dead ass weird. Like, what happened to girls supporting girls? It was really weird how many females were happy about OnlyFans shutting down. I really peeped that shit. This is another one where, like, I don't want y'all to, like, attack me or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. It's called Unpopular Opinions for a reason. Um. What happened to taking birth control? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, I feel like when we were younger, a lot of our parents kind of failed us um, by not doing what they were supposed to do and have that talk with us and I say us but I mainly mean y'all <laughs> cause I had that talk and my parents did what they were supposed to do and you know had that option with me about the birth control um and you know get y'all on the pill and yeah I know sometimes birth control fails so if y'all were on birth control as a teenager and it failed and you got pregnant. This shit is not about y'all. But yeah, you know, if y'all was fucking as a teenager and you didn't have no birth control, what the fuck? Why? Honestly. Because, honestly, I feel like too many of y'all in this generation, just all together, had babies at a young ass age. I said it. I finally said it. What the fuck happened? Hmm? What happened? Why ain't nobody taking birth control? Bitch? Like, I'm the only motherfucker that's taking birth control, I feel like. Like, bro, I'm the only one that's going away. <laughs> Everybody's going to have grown-ass kids by the time I pop one out. Wait up for me, please. Somebody. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to try my best to explain this. So, alright. Nikita Dragon. James Charles. And um, Tana Mojo are like the top three YouTube creators that like I wish fell the f off or like went somewhere um like when we were still dealing with them when we were younger like when we were <laughs> still dealing with them as like beauty content creators because now like our kids gotta deal with them and like they're gonna corrupt them because now james is off doing like weird sh weird shit and Nikita's always doing extra and I don't even know what Tana is up to but <laughs> controversy after controversy I don't know I just feel like the internet would have been so much better if like they didn't make it I feel like and I'm sorry to the future generation <laughs> of kids that have to see them you feel me yeah going out and drinking is like cool and all until you're like chilling with them people 
to the point that you're having like the same freaking conversation over and over and over and then once you get to that point I'm just like bro these people are like superficial I gotta go like all right our time is up this ain't for me gotta go my last a popular opinion is about the male gaze and if you know anything about the male gaze it's kind of referring to how guys view you as a woman and of course that's how he breaks you up into sections and views you sexually and I as a cute person pretty mm, Sometimes. I can go out looking like a mm, sometimes. The male gaze is really freaking uncomfortable, bro. And y'all need to chill out. Y'all really do. Like, y'all think it's sexy. But it's really scary. It's really uncomfortable. And it's because, like, y'all don't even try to hide it. You know, a little separation of the eye contact might make a woman feel a little bit more safe than the constant. You feel me? You know, you want to break that. <laughs> break it. Just break it. And it's also uncomfortable because, bro some of these men are with their daughters that will are the same age as you <laughs> some of these men are with their wives or girlfriends some of these men are with their families and it doesn't matter and they're still staring and it makes it even more uncomfortable in the situations when you're intoxicated or he's intoxicated and something about the male gaze you guys i just I need you guys to fix it and the guys that do have a male gaze that is like I guess perfected good for you that's all I have for my unpopular opinions today like I said I didn't have like a long list um, I wasn't coming for everybody and their mamas today <laughs> if you enjoyed hanging out with me today don't forget to subscribe Leave a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, and yeah. I'm out of here today, boo. See you later. Bye.